What's going on guys? Coach Stavino here and today I want to talk about hitting with two strikes. You hear a lot, hey make sure you're in your two strike approach and I want to teach you guys what is a two strike approach, what are we doing during the two strike approach and how our swing should be. And I'm going to relate it and show you guys how Bryce Harper has two different approaches when he has uh, one strike to compare to when he has two strike and how his stance are on two different approaches. We get in the box and we get in there for the first time. We got 0 count. We could get in our normal stride, okay? If you have a leg kick, you could get into your leg kick, get your separation, and swing hard, okay? First pitch uh, is right down the middle. We're going to take a, a hard swing and try to hit the gap, try to hit it as far as we can. But when we get two strikes, our goal is to shorten up, okay? We want to make sure that we're short to the ball. Our bat path is on plane with the ball, and our goal is just to make contact, all right? Put the ball in play. We're going to battle. We're going to be a hard out. With two strikes, you might want to widen out just a little bit, okay? If you have a high leg kick, you might not going to do that with two strikes, okay? We want to be short to the ball and as quick as possible to the ball. So we're going to widen up. We're going to get our hands back just a little bit more. You might be sitting back in a hinge a little bit earlier than you would do when there's not two strikes, okay? Because, like I said, we just want to be as quick to the ball as possible and put the ball in play. So you might want to get your hands back just a little bit. You might take a shorter step, and our goal is to get to the ball and put it in play. Now, also, too, with two strikes, you want to be quicker hands, okay? Maybe that fastball is coming, uh, and it's going to come hard. Maybe it's going to come up in the zone if you're behind in the count. So you might want to choke up just a little bit with two strikes, okay? Try to get our hands as fast, fast as possible and get to the ball as fast as we can. Also, we need to realize that when we have two strikes, we have to fight and we have to battle, okay? So maybe get a little bit closer to the plate. Take away that outside pitch. If, if you're a guy that's back and far away from the plate, you might want to get a little closer because that pitch, if... If the pitcher is ahead in the count, he's going to throw something off the plate, try to get you to chase it, or maybe a ball off the plate, and you don't want the umpire to determine whether it's a strike or ball. So you want to fight that pitch off, stay alive, and get another pitch. So moving closer to the pitch, take away that outside part, and if he throws outside, we could get our barrel to the ball, and we could put the ball in play. To center and a base hit for Harper. Third hit of the inning. Nobody on in the bottom of the night. And look what Harper does. All right, guys, that's it for today's video on two strike approach. I highly recommend this when you guys are playing, especially at the young ages. Uh, we have to have our different approaches with different at-bats and different pitchers. But the two-strike approach, fight it off, put the ball in play, and battle. Hope you liked this video. I hope you learned a lot from it. To, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And when you're in the Utica area, come check out the Utica Blue Sox Academy. Great facility, great trainers, and great amenities. Till next time.